Hi, I'm Travis Christensen with Northwest Lyman College. Taking shortcuts while working in trenches happens far too often, and one of the most deadly is not using an adequate protective system, such as shoring, benching, shielding, or sloping. Trench walls can be very unstable, and without an adequate protective system, they can cave in at any moment, causing severe injury or death. Beyond that, it's a federal OSHA regulation that any trench four feet or deeper needs a means of egress within 25 feet of the worker. It's also an OSHA regulation that any trench five feet or deeper or with unstable ground must use an adequate protective system. Take note, state OSHA regulations can differ from federal regulations. I'd like to introduce you to Wince Fumbleton. Wince is extremely clumsy and always taking shortcuts. He knew that the trench was over five feet, but he decided to take the chance that nothing would happen in the minute it'd take to put the conduit together. And now he's about to experience the consequences of this shortcut. I've attached a platform to a chain and suspended Wince from the bottom of the trench. This is connected to a dynamometer that will measure the weight on his body when the cave-in happens. Let's see how Wince fares. Our dynamometer reads 1,470 pounds. I think it's safe to say that Wentz didn't survive this cave-in. That's the equivalent of the back of the skid steer running over Wentz. Even if the impact didn't crush him, by the time I dug him out, he would have suffocated. Make sure you always follow the safety rules and regulations at your company for the job at hand, because shortcuts never pay off.